Welcome, MTG players. This is draft number two on our mythic run for January 2024. We're currently at gold two with two pips, and as usual, it's drafting time. Let me open a foundry. I think we begin the draft with just Captain Storm. It's an awesome card. Love it. We're passing just a pirate. Well, a couple of great pirates. Uh, Waylane pirates more than Brazen Blade Master. But we can definitely prioritize artifacts. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to build around Captain Storm. So, this draft is going to be a build around for Captain Storm. So, the wheels on this pack is Waylane Pirates, Brazen Blade Master, and Idol of the Deep King. We opened the Fabrication Foundry, which is <laughs> not something that's really going to make a great deck. Uh, could still as well, but could still's pretty hard if you can't get cats or... I have seen a cats deck with a uh, roaming throne. It is difficult to build. That's not something that I really want to do. Whoa, and then... Pack 2 has nothing. Whoa! That's really, really... That's kind of disturbing. If you look at it very carefully, this pack has zero... Nothing for us. The best on this pack is the Ultic Cloud Guard. We can take the Arazica Puzzle Door, but that's not even an awesome component of the, the Storm deck. <sighs> Seems like not an awesome start, so... Wahaha. Not gonna be an easy draft. I'm telling you that right now. No land to, uh, to pick. Pack 1 even had the blue land. Exali's Lore Keeper for the Dinos, but I think Ulti Cloud Guard has a better chance of uh, played. Here we go. Here's a Dowsing Device, which we don't really need. I'm going to take an Oaken Siren here. We're passing quite a bit of stuff. We're passing white with Dusk Rose. Red as well, but I think we can get the Dowsing Device back. Captain Storm into this is actually pretty good. We're trying to locate the uh, Water Wind Scout. Yep. Dowsing Device is actually really good. Like, if we have Captain Storm, then Dowsing Device will be a 3-3. Three, three. It's attacking for 4-3 three on 3. But this in the air is better. Maybe we get lucky and we get Zoetic Glyph. Um, there's also a case for Volatile Wonder Glyph and Sunfire Torch. We're passing pretty good red cards, though. That is not a good thing. But we're going to take the Oaken Siren here because it is just an, an awesome card. All right. And then we're taking a Triumphant Chomp. More than the Sunfire Torch because the Sunfire Torch, we already passed one and we have a chance to wheel it. Triumphant Chomp, maybe you can get lucky with the 4-3 uh, Dino. That that works great with Triumphant Chomp. But this one removes any creature in the air or whatnot. Rumbling Rock Slide might wheel as well. I'm not looking at anything else uh, in this pack. Shipwreck Sentry can wheel as well. Or Raska Puzzle Door. So that might actually be yeah that might wheel let's see but it's triumphant chomp here clearly triumphant chomp uh, again Ultic cloud guard not really what, what we want but i mean we're not going to ignore stuff all right so um if we're looking at this pack it's dust crow's reliquary there's also Cartographer's Companion if we're gonna edge on Captain Storm. But, I mean, Duskrow's Reliquary, White, 
This is pick five. They have ignored white. Red we've passed like crazy. That does not actually compute with with our f two picks here. It doesn't jive very well with our first two picks. But if we're going to start getting white, maybe it is the thing. Come on. Oh, come on. Maybe not. Or, uh, I don't know. We'll still take the bla Brazen Blade Master. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> All right, we're going to take Inverted Iceberg. We're trying to do a build around, but it's not working out very well for us. This might not work awesome because of what we're doing. Because we are ignoring passes now. Look, Deconstruction Hammer is pretty good. So green and white is actually the one that's wheeling right now. If we see the Kudzil on the wheel, we have old tech. We might actually just go for that. Because if green is wheeling, yeah, so nothing great over here. Here's an, an okay white card. There's also Seismic Monstrosaur. There's Runaway Boulder, but white i think is wheeling so we're going to try and grab white there's also seismic monster but it doesn't really go well with our first pick. so yeah again so this is pick eight and we can still go for the inverted iceberg here Echoing Depths, you know what, maybe we just do a Rare Draft. A second Inverted Iceberg is not really ideal for the deck, so we're going to take the Rare. Now let's see what we get on 9. This is our original pack returning to us. So far, this is what we're looking at. Nope, we're okay. We'll be fine. We can build around the pirates deck look at this this is okay this is fine we need more artifacts of course but the fourth wailing pirates on four is fine curving out pretty well now what do we get what else do we get back we might be able to get more red cards so we're going to prioritize more uh we're looking at sunfire torches uh yeah sunfire torches suzum mm -hmm. all right in this case we'll just take the araska puzzle door not really something we want if if we can have this improved later with sunfire torches would be great or maybe the uh the uh diamond pickaxe would be really good right there you go <laughs> sunfire torch awesome now all we need is um the uh, all right we even have the sentry wheeling yeah pirates deck so we want like the uh staunch crewmate um so far we have one two three four four pirates yeah five pirates what's the other pirate oh oak and siren is a pirate as well wow okay so staunch crewmate is an awesome pick if it shows up which we're hoping it shows up that mm, buried treasure more than that because we can have buried treasure as a splash of something maybe like an old tech cloud guard because the Ultra Cloud Guard creates a colorless gnome artifact creature token. So it has a chance to actually have this on like the Araska Puzzle Door, Captain Storm, Brazen, and then the Ultra Cloud Guard or something like that. So it's the dinos that we actually opened up. There were quite a bit of uh, dino choices in uh, 
because right now there's really nothing for us here which is an actual shame because even the uh huh okay well again really right now red is not looking great blue is okay but red is not looking awesome it's maybe white that's more is better if we take a white card here more than its queens there really wasn't anything for us in that pack here's another great white card So green is actually up. Here's Sunshot Militia. The bat is really, really good. A couple of Ultic Cloud Guards. Maybe it's where we're supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's where we're supposed to be. So Ruin Lurker bat. So blue's out. We're not getting blue. Right now it's looking like this. Malamit is okay. Uh, the Plundering Pirate is actually pretty good. Looking okay. Plundering Pirate. You can also have Iron Paw as Pirate. No. Plundering Pirate is fine. Ooh, Abuelo. Okay. Well... We're taking Abuelo. We're back on. Okay. Abuelo is fine. Okay. Let's see what we can do with uh, white, blue. Runaway Boulder is something we want right now. Yeah. Volatile Fault. We got stuff with Volatile Fault. Okay. Inverted Iceberg, Oaken Siren, Thousand Moons, Buelo, looking like this right now, checking out Totes, or maybe Abuelo is a splash, maybe Abuelo is a splash, I think, it's what we can do, right? A splash blue, we can be red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm thinking white, red, splash blue. White, red, splash, blue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're just supposed to be Jeskai? Because if we do this... We're actually okay. Yeah, look at this. This is pretty good. I like it. Another Relaying Pirates. Yeah. Artifact count is six. Pretty healthy. Um, We want like... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We want the um, Idol of the Deep King, uh, Runaway Boulder. We're trying. We're going to try to get those because uh, of Abuelo. Blazing Blade Master is pretty good, actually. 
yeah i'm liking this something like this even ancestors aid is pretty good huh um we already have one sunshot militia do we want a second one no i don't think so Th this is pretty useful okay we'll take it that might actually be useful i don't know i don't think so thousand moons infantry we already have so i'm gonna take the blow gun we even have shipwreck sentry right now Mm, pack 2 was kind of weird because of the Abuelo pickup, but we have, yeah, we definitely can, uh, that's another artifact for consideration, uh, Sunfire Torch, Triumphant Chomp with the Dynatomaton. Volatile Fault, okay. Where did we get that? I think that was from the, uh, from the uh, rewards. Ooh, even an unlucky drop, yeah. Hit the mother load is not a thing. We have a couple of uh things over here um so healy's lattice will let us get out of oh here's a runaway boulder do we take the runaway boulder here it is a chance for abuelo <laughs> you know what yeah why not uh oaken siren yeah because i don't know if we're gonna be able to get oh you know what here's a scampering surveyor i think that's much better than that because we can grab the cave yeah 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 scampering surveyor here on four we have a lot of fours okay so there's the saw blades for blinking with abuelo there's also the ruin lurker babble we're not so fast i don't think that'll fly uh yeah we're not extremely fast so we're gonna take this out for a spring loaded saw blades i think that'll be fine i would like an itali's favor yeah buried treasure how many artifacts do we have seven Tali's favor will enable what exactly? Why? We're not green. Sure. Wow, this is a pile. It's turning out to be a uh, pretty... <laughs> pretty pile, I guess. So we have another Itali's favor here. We have a scampering surveyor. Another Itali's favor might actually be good. Blink Itali's favor. Another dark creature or artifact. So we can't blink that. We can blink scampering surveyor. Um, what else can we blink? All right, we'll take the runaway boulder here. Um, what do we make? Uh, take out ancestors aid, I guess. Yeah, idol of the deep king. We did not get back. It's looking like this is the deck right now. 
Yep, definitely looking like this is the deck right now. Evened out on lands. Blade Master is kind of awkward, but we have eight artifacts. It might not be great, but yeah. Uh, better than an Oaken Sire. Uh, better than... Uh, Shipwreck Sentry. Because the Shipwreck Sentry doesn't even attack. So if we can get, like, Idol of the Deep King, that's actually really good. What can we take out for it? This is actually extremely good. Um, I want the Plundering Pirate. Uh, I want the Compass Gnome. Our tricks. Wow, we get an Abrade pick eight? Whoa. If we take out white, what happens if we take out white? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. One, two, three, four. Seven. Artifact count. Nine. One, two. Sahili's Lattice, maybe. Huh, that's actually really good, this one. Or is it just Ancestor's Aid? I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll take it. Let's see what happens. Oh, Cartographer's Companion versus another draft. I think we'll take this and see what happens. Another Wailing. I think, yeah, we're not going to go white. Although white is really good, but we have pretty much all the components of a great pirates deck. Complicating it with a... Uh, but we're basically basing it off, off of uh, Captain Storm. That might be a bad play. Because our white is really good, like. But so is our. Uh, yeah, so is our blue red. But we're again, we're basing it off of Captain Storm with. Uh, so we have a braid for removal, Sunfire Torch, Triumphant Chomp. So unlucky drop. These are our forms of renewal, uh, removals and trick. Might just be fine with this, right? And this, I think we're we're gonna contend with this. Two point six. 16 we're not we don't really have a lot of fours well our it's one two th four five six but not uh may have entered bath as a copy of a land in a graveyard except it's a cave in addition to its other types i think we're not going to risk that one our white is actually really good as well. If we go white blue without Captain Storm, is it better? Because our red is what? 
brazen two brazen blade masters with nine artifacts is great actually okay we're gonna try this one out hopefully it uh, pans out more red than blue nine seven Captain Storm on two, right? Captain Storm on two. We're not so fast. That's the thing. We're not extremely fast. And we don't have a lot of removal as well. Our form of removal is waylaying pirates. <sighs> what if we're blue white? Here's white. Then take out blue. Oh no, white. 23, like this. We have flyers. We have Abuelo for Abuelo and Captain Storm, basically. Scampering Surveyor to blink the Altec Cloud Guard or the Glorifier. No, Abuelo. What can you blink? It's the Runaway Boulder to blink, right? Is this one better? Because there's two... So with this one, we have a higher chance of, uh, or maybe straight up red, white. Why? What's our artifact count now? Artifact is seven, so definitely much lower. Definitely much lower. So Brazen Blade Master doesn't even attack very well yeah brazen blade master doesn't attack very well Nine, right? Artifact eight. What was it before? Now it's fourteen eight. What changed? Incidental artifacts. Uh, one. Uh, two, three, three, three incidental artifacts. Four, if we do this. All right, I think I'm done with that. So we need to keep attacking, right? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Down with this. So we did not do one. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this one, sure.
Can we really splash something? Like... The saw blade is actually really, really good. It's a really, really good splash. The bat is actually awesome as well. Eight artifacts only. But incidentals are a lot, so... We're hedging on Captain Storm. We gotta be able to draw Captain Storm. If we don't draw Captain Storm... What happens exactly? Because Abuelo... With Abuelo, right? It's a ward 2. Alright, let's... I can't decide. I can't decide because Abuelo is really, really good. Uh, let's take note of this. But we're going to see if we can build with Abuelo. What can we take out? Um, Wailing Pirates is not an out. Dinotomaton, no cartographer's companion. Couple of the ancestors in the shipwreck sentry. Uh, Sunfire Torch, Iron Claws, Fire Glory, Fire Suffering. How many artifacts? We only need to eight. So maybe it's the Brazen Blade Masters, right? Brazen Blade Masters. Those are pretty fantastic with... We're at 2.73. The gnome ensures that we have land drops. Gotta take out two. Two with what? So I even need the runaway boulder as well. So the thing with Abuelo is that the blink, our blink is not great. Needs a lot of mana. Plus the blink when we get to runaway boulder is not awesome. Yeah. What do we take out here? Triumphant Chomp? Uh, Beauty Glorifier is not so great. Oh, it makes it worse with Itali's favor. So two. Our tricks are this. Two, three, four, five, six, six tricks. Couple of six. Oh, with inverted iceberg as well as a sort of a drawer. It's probably if we take out inverted iceberg, we again take out one thing. Another artifact taken out. And that's end game as well. So also it, even if we draw the bat can we put a counter on it? Yeah, the number of times you can put a counter, ruin lurker bat, iron paw aspirin, and glorifier of suffering. 
So that'll let us just do tempo like pretty nicely. Also, Itali's favor on the Rune Lurker bat is quite nice. Do we get better stuff with this this format than if we don't do it? Oh, how many pirates do we have? Six, yeah. That doesn't matter because it only matters with... Uh, With attacks unlucky drop still here so we still need to cut two what do we cut it'll have to be creatures compass gnome no the compass gnome is so good um two creatures Because basically, if we reach endgame with Abuelo and the Runaway Boulder, uh, we can just keep blinking this. And in theory, we get run over pretty fast, though, right? I think we stick with the uh I think we still stick with the uh red blue build. Yeah, we still stick with the red blue build unfortunately. Chomp, kill these dudes. This one. Sentry versus there and what? Oh, these two. Okay, this actually lets us do combat. But the only thing we have uh, in the air is uh, Oaken Siren. We're basically very low to the ground with this one. In this one, we're low to the ground, and the only thing that we're uh, looking for is Captain Storm. If we don't get Captain Storm, we're not really doing anything. What are we beginning with? Sunfire Torch? Uh... Oaken, yeah, that's a better build. All right. No. We're going to try the uh, this build. Uh, Ancestor's Aid is out. The uh, Shipwreck Sentry and Blazing Blade Masters are out. Uh... Dynatomaton is not the artifacts man so we need to take out one probably no not the rune lurker but inverted iceberg I guess put our artifact down this is 24 can we do with 24 we have eight fours. If we don't go to eight to four, we're screwed. But the way we get to four is on three. Oh, Abuelo has to be in here as well. So. If we blink, this is basically 
and runaway boulder as well need to be here aye, aye, aye. we can also do inverted iceberg maybe it's just this something like this then no chomp no cartographer's companion Those are really, really good cards. Uh, it'll be the inverted icebergs. Eight artifacts, 24. Maybe this is the deck. We need 17 though, we really do gotta make one more cut it's probably the uh dinatomaton right oh it's the shipwreck sentry okay okay yeah i think i'm okay with this all right let's try this out yeah i like this one better all right it's even down wow Jeskai Abuelo. So our targets for Abuelo. We have eight artifacts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dolly's favorite targets. Are we doing too much because of Abuelo? I don't know. I think we're okay though, right? How does this tempo though? Because the previous deck, this deck can tempo? Because of the Wailing Pirates, right? So this deck will go ahead and tempo because of the waylaying pirates. This one will have more aerial stuff. Has a lot of aerial stuff actually. Also, the runaway boulder on six is kind of crazy. Oh, we don't have lands. Let's check out lands. Um, yeah, right. Um, five, six, six. More blue. Yeah, more blue than red, white. You know what? I, I am willing to try this though. Like, I don't know, it might work. Jeskai Abuelo. I'm very used to the uh, other, uh, the other sort of build anyway. This one has eight artifacts, but it has Abuelo and Captain Storm. Let's try it. We have a braid. We have spring loaded saw blades. Atali's favor. Let's do it. I would like to play with Abuelo. Like, we just didn't get to a uh, perfect Abuelo build. Oh no, what happened? Ay, ay, ay. I canceled it. <laughs> Yar. I think it was a really tough uh, decision, but ultimately I really want to play with Abuelo. Uh, if you can draw 
Bob Whale and Captain Storm on every single game. Awesome. If not, so. We have Captain Storm with a braid. We're gonna keep it. We draw white mana and be so good. Huh, so I'll tempo in. I don't think you have any. Yeah. Not in cycling, sure. We have a braid and cogwork wrestler up. If he plays something and we draw land, hopefully, we can get waylaying pirates in. Doesn't have anything. Awesome. We still have removal for something, so we're gonna do this. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of white mana not being here. We have quite a bit of white. Five, five sources for white. He has three colors, so he's able to get his. Uh, other color. So not sure if we can, but we can upgrade this one. Here we go. We don't have anything. We're hoping for one land. We have 17 lands. Hopefully we can get one. Because if he plays something, even a big thing, we can still uh, get stuff done. Play something and then play land. We can abrade something. Ooh, this, if we draw a land, we can... That can be an abrade. That can be a number of things. If we tap it, he did not show anything, right? Uh, we're gonna try, right? No, I think he's got something. A braid or I don't know what he has but this will ensure that we have something for uh, later right explore what do you have explore okay he either I don't think he had anything then Okay, well, we can copy that. That's not a problem. Okay. Still dead. Yeah, okay. Well, that worked out. But this is working out because our opponent really didn't do anything at all. We weren't able to get our white land though, so Captain Storm though, if it was just red blue, eh. 
We'll take it. We're looking for a longer game with uh, with this plan, but I think it is better or more correct. We are making use of, yeah, this has a higher, uh, the deck really has a higher ceiling than the, uh, than the other deck, uh, replacements for, yeah, we can even start with the Ruin Lurker Bat, that would be like, whew, that would be so awesome, Ruin Lurker Bat with, uh, uh Iron Paul Aspirin, that's also a line. So this one does not have anything. Plundering Pirate on four without any sort of land. No two. Um, our earliest is turn three. I think I'm still going to take this. I'm still going to keep it. We might not be able to catch up, but... Uh, what can you do? That's an okay thing. Let's see what it does. It's two bottom. Still no white. We have more red than blue. Nothing as well. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna craft it immediately. So right now, five. We have six. Can't do a double spell. Um, we can maybe we draw into a braid would be fine. Um, I think we'll do Itali's favor on the plundering pirate, then smash in. That's the plan right now. Needs to have it though, right? 19. Okay. Whoa. You have cosmic? Oh, I can't even lock that. All right, sure. Is he trying to race? Bottom. So I drew another land. Next turn. I think it's this because we have another one, yeah. We can cosmium this as well, it's fine. So, three, what is it? Saw blades, I guess. Yeah, some blades. 
sorry. Okay. have seven mana we still can't double spell still wants to all right well uh, so seven we can have another one and then attack in i guess what we can do because he can't craft that or will he craft it guys cry go ahead I guess next turn we'll just do the uh, Altec Cloud Guard. That's the best we can do. And what is this? Oh, he's gonna craft it with the uh, Clay Fire Bricks. Sure. Oh, if he crafts it with... We can't attack, right? Oh, we can. But can we... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. Let's go this. He wants to... I don't know, he's, he's mono white? Whirlpool, okay. Yeah, we can't track back now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven. All right, we'll do all take cloud guard. All right. Ooh, awesome. Mm-hmm. She attacks. I can get rid of one. Yup. Tap that. Sure, but... Mm -hmm. White, red. Ooh. He's red, actually. Stop what? Damn. 
Okay. Can't block, but that's three damage. Eight. Can't craft that so we don't die next turn. Just gonna do this. Oh shit, maybe I should have. Ah! Oh, I should have saved two damage. Stupid. I really am dumb. If he has a braid, we're screwed. Okay, nope. But yeah, should have saved two damage. Not having white here hurts a lot. And that didn't help us at all. It actually helped him. Red stuff. You will have to craft that, but still seven. Maybe we draw into a Waylaying Pirates and be good. Or an unlucky drop would be awesome. A Buelo might actually also work. No, Abuelo doesn't work because we don't have white mana. Which is really, really bad. We don't have white mana. We got no white mana. Chill? Six, seven... Yeah, seven, so he'll be able to craft that. Two. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Sheesh. I am dead. I am dead. Yeah, I hope he doesn't see it. But yeah. I am dead on board. So he crafts clay fired bricks. I was wrong. The first. So it becomes a 6-6. Six, six. Now he just needs to attack with... All oh, he can't. Oh, okay, cool. 7, 8. Okay. Yep, you should have won now. You just... Yeah, didn't think about it as well. So you could have just tapped the two guys. And yeah, I am not dead, so I'm not blocking right now. Because if I can draw something, then I can just alpha in. Blue. Oh, I drew a land. Yeah, I lost. So this was just, yeah, I, I wasn't able to draw anything. So that's the thing, right? Uh, so in that game, we, we couldn't even do anything. Yeah, I think let's just go ahead and tempo with the... Uh, Alright, uh, yeah. Uh, I really don't want it. Let's see what happens if we just 
because uh, not being able to cast the uh, the stuff where we're supposed to cast is just horrible. It is just horrible. Yeah, this is it, right? So fifty-nine. Yep. Mm. more red red and blue So we have uh, went in, yeah. No white land, so two of our cards were useless. Yeah, that loss was a great attributed. Specifically, not being able to cast our hand. If we were able to cast our hand, we would have been fine. Cause, all right, cool. We're not casting this and putting it on three instead of one, cause it's kind of useless. We have Captain Storm, so on three we can have. Uh, Captain Storm as a 3-3 three, 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 and attack with 4-4 four, four as 4-4 four, four on turn 3. Or even have that. Look at that. That's That guarantees it's a 4-4. Four, four. If he doesn't kill it right now, we're great. this because if he has zoetic glyph so be it oh no do you it's zoetic glyph or bust So you can definitely torch this, but on three, what happens? He has to save, right? Or is it better if we torch this and then attack for six? If we torch this and attack for six, it might actually be better. Because this is six damage, it's actually seven more. So eight damage and he already saw that so yeah so what exactly is gonna happen so this is eight damage right eight he's down eight 
He has to cast Storm, attack, but we're going to tap Storm. We're going to tap that and then have Storm as a 3-2. It's still 5. Uh, we'll have more on board. Yeah. I think the damage was better than the uh, the four scampering surveyor. It's, is it storm? Gap storm. We kind of still flooded that game, though. This is two. We have the two. We don't have four. We have three. gonna bump into this dude if he decides to attack again yeah definitely wait two Is it a braid? Yeah, it's a braid. Ooh, nice. Okay. I don't think that was the right play, dude. I don't think that was the right play. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. That was not the right play, my friend. Four. Yeah, we're just going to block this. Maybe. Nope. Any land wins. Any land wins. A braid? It's still an artifact, dude. Okay. It's not an artifact. That's not great. Okay.
eaten by piranhas, I guess. Prevented me from control would be so good. This wins, right? this Okay, he's doing desperation. <sighs> Alright, we got through that. Mami, sabi, ito sabi ni Mami, pakisabi kayo naglo kung updated ang feel health niya, mapapagawa natin siya ng artificial leg ng libre. Decline this. We can't double spell next turn, can we? Oh, we can ancestors eat. We have five. What? We lose both.
not blocking this. This is very dangerous because he's got a braid and stuff. Uh, I think I'll do this. Uh, see what happens. All right, sure. Still good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't. Oh no, what the hell? Wow, he just has everything. Yeah, our opponent just has everything, unfortunately. Oh no. He can tap that. That doesn't matter. We can also be screwed. Alright, well, we're not going to. We have Ancestor's Aid for this, so. card in hand i don't know what it is but yeah blow out town i guess so yeah i'm about to be blown out Okay, well, they just trade. On fire torch, I guess. No. No. For sure. So you can't attack. He has a four turn clock. Well, maybe, yeah. He has a three turn clock if he gets something off of him. Braided net is not a good <laughs> good news for us.
gonna take it. Braided net. So, essentially, we're dead. Not really. He's gonna tap that. He'll attack. Three, five, braid. Yeah, so. Next turn, we're dead. Yeah? What can we draw off of this? Captain Storm. Ancestors aid a braid. Triumphant chomp. No, nope. it's still safer to play this out. Mm hmm. And then we see what happens this turn. Got a couple of ancestors aid in maybe that wasn't the best thing. Sunfire torch. Yeah, he had Sahili. Maybe Sahili was not a great target for this. Yeah, he still decided to so. Okay, well, Wailing Pirate. Then tap, tap. So he has to tap. I can't tap. Um, if I tap, tap, he, he'll he'll end me. Drawn to Captain Storm. What else can we do? I don't know. Hmm. hmm. Same thing, same position as before. He has to let it. Did we win? And I fucked up? No, we didn't. draw one more thing right if I draw one more thing oh shit he has what uh, dice it's dice so he can't attack 
If he attacks right now, we win next turn. Yeah. If he attacks right now, we win next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ha. Huh. I think that's the end, right? Yeah, he lost. are out and we were able to get it awesome the uh the key to that was we were able to put two permanents in play that we can actually tap for the sunshot militia if we not get the plundering pirate something else yeah, we can't. We would have lost. So, awesome draw. That was the thing. Awesome draw. Four wins in the deck. Not gonna lie, the last, uh, the last game was it was it, we won because of a lucky draw. Uh, yeah, that was all there. Have a brave blazing blade master. We don't have we are going to keep it though. Because if he doesn't have anything for Captain Storm, we basically not land to please back. Come on. Do this. I already have four lands. The fifth land is just ridiculous. Braid. That's, uh, yeah, join the dead. Join the dead, mana. He's attacking because he can't really block with this. In Jersey, it's got life in. So we can need an artifact. That's that's a perfect draw actually.
pretty good turn of events. Defossilize or what? What are you looking for? One, two, three. He's got three. What does he have? Uh, the spider. Absolute loss doesn't matter. That was so crap. <laughs> that was a bad turn. Three, three. Yeah, so we were not able to push damage. Well, what we could have done is we put two over here and then put that so we eat it up. Instead, we were not able to push damage. We missed two damage, essentially, is what, what happened. Can we get an artifact, please? One, two, three, four, five. Cogwork Wrestler would be awesome. That's the best. It's our best draw. Cogwork Wrestler. Inverted Iceberg is not bad as well. Or the Oaken Siren. Any artifact, please. Any artifact. We're looking for any artifact. Any artifact. doesn't really do anything go ahead and chupacabra one we'll just go for a tali's favor it'll have to be captain storm that you chupacabra then you have two you can't double spell this turn so you're essentially going to be trading off because you have two. totally fine So if we didn't screw up with the uh, Ancestor's Gate, we would have been okay. Huh. J let's just win. Cool. We're getting good draws. We're getting good draws. Alright, we hit Platinum on that one. Land draws were kind of ridiculous at the beginning, but it's a good thing we did not keep drawing lands. We're at five wins with the deck. Awesome. Is it Cap Storm is doing its thing? And it's off of Wailing Pirates. We weren't even getting artifacts. Yeah, so that was extremely bad. The, uh, the play that we made over there was very, very bad. Anyway, it's okay. 
Not really, you should really, uh, be mindful and careful about the draws and stuff. Here we go. Scary. We're not gonna torch that just yet. Oh, okay. Yikes. No blocks. We need to torch it now, right? Oh. Actually, no, we don't. we're not going to yeah we're not going to do this unless he decides to do a torch if he sacks it though that becomes one once yeah I'm okay with that he'll have to attach torch it right or he attacks in we'll go down to 12 but we can have wailing pirates and uh, actually have yeah, or he has to torch the Oaken Siren. Yep, he wants to. That's what he wants to do, all right. And then what? Uh-huh. This is five. All right, we're blocking, right? Yeah, we're definitely blocking. Ten automaton is actually really good uh, for trading this. If he decides to flip, we're trading. <laughs> going to do it yet we're gonna try out and chomp this Oh, we should have equipped it again onto the siren, I guess. Yeah, we should have equipped it to the siren. That was a uh, missed opportunity. 
I hope it doesn't punish us. I don't think he has anything. Ooh, he equipped it for what? Why? This is nine damage. It's ten if you don't have anything. It's ten if you don't have anything. This is Exaxis. Alright, well, he, have, he has five mana. He can map that. Doesn't help with anything. Okay, five, three. Map it. Okay. What does it mean? Oh, you're just dead. <laughs> Alright, cool. We'll take that. We'll take that. I don't think he had anything in his hand. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're at six wings with the deck. Let's see if we can grab a trophy. Seen a hand. What the heck? All right, we'll keep it. We'll put out a lucky drop. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the Dynatomaton. Dynatomaton into what exactly? Oh. What is it?
six. Sure. Thirteen six. Brackish, is it? So we can definitely have this uh, and then attack in, right? Four. Uh, decides to attack. That doesn't matter. Four. We put more damage on board. We can't. It's three, right? Yep, it's three. Spring, uh, yeah, top blades, the, uh, Something because Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I should have uh, done that because it was a guaranteed hit. <laughs> he also had the cogwork wrestler that's what it was oh and he also has the melanin so yeah he definitely lost so even if we had that right yeah there was no way out there was no way out oh wait this is better yeah this one and this one all right well <laughs> that's pretty good that's a pretty good one that's really good one you was able to tempo in because he had the cogwork wrestler what we were really hoping for uh the reason why we didn't we uh bin the uh the brazen blade master was some form of removal like maybe an another Atali's favor or uh an ancestor's aid would have been pretty good uh, or maybe a Sunfire Torch or Triumphant Chomp. Triumphant Chomp would have been really good. So, oh, even if we did Triumphant Chomp, this is 10. Oh, yeah, it didn't, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. Because we're only saving two damage. Unlucky drop. I don't think so. If we had kept the unlucky drop, 
would we have, I don't know, because we bottomed the unlucky drop for three mountains. Let's hope we get, uh, we get to draw and we have a good hand. <laughs> that was a pretty good game. Yeah, I like that one. We lost, but yeah. Not because of a misplay or anything, but because the opponent just had it. All right. Captain Storm off the top. Let's do it. Captain Storm off the top. Captain Storm. So we can go ahead and trade it off. We have three. We can do scampering surveyor here for another land. Um, a braid will ensure that we don't get hit back for as much because 23 is not great. Um, we can also just load this up over here and then have a three. No, nope. have two. Uh, I think this is all right. Nope. Uh, if he can't remove it, what are we doing next turn? Maybe we should have just traded with this, right? We can't comp. We need to. We need to attack. Or maybe we draw land and we'll be fine. Unlucky drop is fine. <laughs> Staggering size, wait, no. A breed. Uh, staggering size is four.
He didn't block. I didn't even notice that he didn't block. down if we flip this right three we'll attack again for three but we are going to what exactly two and then unlucky drop nope we just play the land we can do this This is going to attack again, seven. Can, do we have an artifact in the graveyard? We do. Quite a bit of artifact in the graveyard. This will bump us to four, just four. Uh, what's our next, yeah. Because it's unlucky drop. Maybe that's wrong. <sighs> Alright, well. Even if we do this, right? He's going to attack. Then what? Tempo in... For what? We can't even attack right now. Seven. So we can do, uh huh. If he has removal for this, first person. If not, then we can definitely not die. I think this is the play. Five. Okay, so he's going to punch in. Two, three. We are dead, are we? Or not. And then are we dead next turn? Should be okay, right? We're not able to. We're able to tempo. The turn where it was kind of screwed up with the Abraden ancestors' aid. That was where we lost, I think. That was where we lost. So unlucky drop is not really going to do anything. It's just either going we're just gonna have to do this. We can do. We 
Ooh. We're definitely dead now, right? Because <laughs> that's three. We block. We we can't even block with this. He has four. Maybe he has something. Doesn't matter. We are dead. Because we're down one. Maybe that turn where we should have chomped with the... Uh... No, 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 no. Because he was able to remove something with the galleon. Yes, and then has four attackers. Yes, Popo, you got it. We were not able to get there. That's the best block. If we had drawn like a couple of things, we might have gotten there. Like, uh, waylaying pirates would have been really, really good, right? Waylaying pirates to Cavern Stomper. You'll have three attackers. We're still dead. We're still dead, even with the uh, waylaying pirates. Because he had uh, this. He had this. So we'll be able to lock that. But he has a third one because of the, the galleon. So we'll block the galleon. We'll block that still to yep okay we did not draw captain storm uh yeah we didn't start uh i don't think that was a like a bad keep we just didn't draw anything and we drew more lands i guess yeah we drew more lands than action Unfortunately, I still, still the deck uh, got us to uh, to plat, which is what we're really after. So yeah, okay, we're we're chugging along, we're chugging along. So is it Captain Storm with this? It's yeah, second uh, second draft in the books, and we have reached platinum, which is our uh <laughs> one of the goals let's see if we can still push to mythic really don't know at this point we're claiming but yeah we're we're okay we're we're doing fine if you like the content smash that like button please consider subscribing and check out my other vids see you on the next one